Sup you guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, yep, it's number 33. It's, 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 it's jit. We've got two pretty special things about this video. Number one, well three actually. Number one, he's a running back. Number two, he's from the Packers. And number three, we're in the top third of this list. We're at number 33. His name's Aaron Jones. Like I said, he's a running back. He's on the screen right now and we're about to hear what he's got to say. I come to you as a rugby player. The last time I played rugby was probably about six months ago here in Christchurch. Um, previous to that, I've played my whole entire life. Since I was five, I turned 30 last month. So I've got a bit of experience. But the thing that I enjoy about this and the thing that my subscribers enjoy about my reaction to these players is, is my ability to see raw talent. It's my ability to, to see and also judge fairly, I think, uh, this talent that gets, you know, put in front of me. And uh, more times than not, guys, I'm extremely impressed. And I have no doubt I'm going to be extremely impressed by this guy, but I have no idea who it is. Anyway, let's go. Remember who your number one was? Myself. Why's that? You gotta love yourself. If you're not gonna love yourself, who else will? <laughs> I tend to agree. Is that his dad? You know, Aaron's my boy. Um, ever since college, I saw how hard he worked. I saw, you know, a lot of the things that people don't see. I was saying to myself, this guy's going to be great. It was just a matter of time. Sometimes we'd be at practice and they want to put me in a situation where I'm dropping scene flat. My two in the backfield and it's Aaron Jones. And I look to the sideline, I'm like, Coach, really? You want me to cover up Aaron Jones? Man, he's a versatile back, man. Got a lot of guys, you know, um, sleep on him. He's a physical downhill runner who can run through guys, who can run around guys, shake guys, stiff arm guys. After a relatively subdued first two NFL seasons, Aaron Jones broke out in year three. The former Utah standout returned to the Lone Star State and scored four touchdowns against Dallas. Shit, he didn't even need to bring out the stiff arm. He, he used his speed. Four, yes sir. Back at home in Texas. Jones finished the year with over 1,500 yards from scrimmage and tied for the NFL lead with 19 touchdowns. The beauty of Aaron Jones is one explosive run. It's all it takes, right? He's just one carry away. And he is explosive. You know, he finds the hole and he hits it. I mean, he was playing us. He got through some gap. I don't know how he got through that gap, man, but he got through it. He makes the turn out to the number 40. Yeah! He's gonna go! Something. He's like a slasher. That's like the, the first like adjective that comes to my mind. I think his ability to take his one cut read and then just hit what he sees um, and hit that hole, I think is what makes him special. Mm -hmm. I think one of the more underrated qualities that he has is route running and his ability to catch. Your running back is going to come out and run a corner route. Look at the throw his back shoulder and he turns around and Jones with an incredible catch. Oh. He had right to go the other way. Where that safety is, so he throws it. I have to make an adjustment looking over his shoulder to adjust to mm. That's that's stunning. It was a tough adjustment, uh, but it's something I, I practiced, so it was it was like routine for me. He's gonna continue to So that was meant to happen. He was meant to be looking out to the right to trick his defender and then at the very last so that ball was actually meant to be on his inside. Because as far as I saw, that ball was actually thrown mistakenly on the inside rather than the outside. But maybe that play was actually meant to go like that. Let me let me listen again. Because if it was, and they've trained it like that, and then it comes off in the game, I mean that was literally perfect. Look at the throw his back shoulder and he turns around. So that 50 is tracking 33, Aaron Jones, as if he's gonna catch that over his right shoulder. Now I'm thinking Aaron Rodgers is throwing the ball so that Jones can shake that guy and at the very last second turn on the inside and catch the ball. And Jones with an incredible catch. Hey Ron kind of says is where that safety is, so he throws it. I have to make an adjustment looking over his shoulder, adjust to look inside. 
it definitely is a tough adjustment, uh, but it's something I practiced, so it was, it was like routine for me. Okay, so he, he, he's, okay, so that's an adjustment. He sees what the throw is like and he adjusts to the throw. I'm not going to say that the throw was actually meant to be on that spot, but maybe it was. He's going to continue to flourish, and, uh, and especially with him having Aaron Rodgers. He's helping Aaron out, and Aaron's helping him out, and uh, he's doing his thing. Is making the top 100 the goal? Okay. Aaron Jones. For some reason, I think he may be the third brother of John and Chandler Jones but I might be completely wrong. Aaron LeRae Jones, born December 2nd, 1994, is American football running back. Five foot nine, 94 kg. There's been a fair few running backs that have been 94 kg on the dot. I feel like, I feel like Wikipedia might, might have just a, a general weight of a running back listed as 208 pounds. He went pick number 182 in the fifth round of the 2017 draft. He made the Pro Bowl in 2020. He is not the brother of John Jones, but he has a twin brother, Alvin Jr. Older brother, Xavier, sister, Chelsea Ray, and uh, they often moved around living in Germany, Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, and near the Mexican border due to their parents' postings in the US Army. He's listed as having a 456 40 yard dash. He's listed as five feet zero and one half of an inch. <laughs> which is wrong, 1 meter 54, I don't think he's um, quite that short. Uh, yet once again, half an inch on the vertical jump, which is obviously not correct. 10 foot 7 on the broad jump, that's correct. 26 reps on the bench, I'd say that's correct too. He was drafted by the Green Bay Packers in the 5th round, he was the 19th running back selected in that year's draft, and is he on his second contract yet? No he's not, he's still on his rookie contract. And I'll tell you what, he is doing all he can to secure that second bag, right? He's doing all he can. At the end of this year, you know, he's obviously, is he killing it this year? Yep, he's nearly got a thousand yards in 12 games. Um, he will secure that second bag. He will get paid, and I'm happy for him. Guys, in the next video, it's Shaquille Barrett. Here he is on screen right now. He's fly. He's got a necklace, he's got a cross earring, he's got a hat backwards. Now, I'm not going to say that... that you know, either of us looks any better than the other, but if we're talking about a backwards hat, an earring and a necklace, it's a good look. I like it. You look fresh. You look fly. You look swag. Do you have the play to back it up? We're about to find out. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you've liked this one, please hit the like button. I'm going to put my hat on properly now. And uh, this guy plays for the Bucks. I don't have a Bucks jersey, but what I do have, what I do have, no, actually, I, I, no, no, I, I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.